All right, let me see this trailer, bro. Holy crap, a new season. Let's go, man. All right, here we go, guys. Rumbleverse season two, first look. Uh, didn't even know it was a thing. Uh, here we go, because hot diggity damn. Cosmetics. A lot of new stuff on cosmetics. Okay. 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 Limited time mode. Oh, new moves. What is that? A scream? A sweep? That's so stupid. New battle pass. A lot of them. New poses. New chunklas? <laughs> Yo, they got the chunkla. No way. <laughs> they got the chunklas. <laughs> Yo, let's go, dude. They got the chunkla. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that isn't much to show. Except for, let me see, where was it? Uh, let me see the new moves. Limited time modes. I don't think I like the idea of that. Limited time modes. Like, what is that? Feels is gonna be nuts, man. But it looks like, yeah, 4v4 four, four, four four and 3v3. So, oh, that's what it is. Okay, I get it. Limited time modes of 4v4 four and 3v3. I get you. Now nah, it makes sense. Yeah, it's not a time attack. It's 44 and 3v3. That's what they're showing off right here. See that he just threw that and it and it um so that guy is probably on his team and he threw it and it and literally just um it auto uh corrected to this guy. 3v3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 3v3. Actually, that looks like four people. Hold on. No, that's 3v3. That's what it is. That's pretty sick. So, uh, yeah, that your boys gotta get ready for that shit. Is that a T-Rex? Yeah, new costumes. I mean, obviously dinosaurs were gonna be a thing. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, and they got starfish. So this looks kind of crazy. This move looks kind of nutty. I wanna know what's going on back here though. What's going on with this guy back here? Oh no, he just launched her. It, it looks like he just hit her. Okay, so now you can grab onto uh, certain objects, swing around, and then dive on people. That'd be kind of cool. That's kind of sick. What was that? Is that a butt slap? Hold on, I don't understand that move. That move looks weird. Oh, are you serious? Oh no, wow. Hey, yo, it's a butt slam that, that deletes all of your um, items that you have in your inventory. So the items in your inventory aren't safe anymore. There's an actual move that can. Oh shit, that's gonna be tough as fuck. Oh man. Oh, they want this game to be brutal. Can't wait for Steve to slam his cheek on me in Romoverse. Yo, you better be there with me, buddy. And <laughs> you just go. So anybody that's charging, I'm sure you can get drop kicked out of it. If you're just doing it, somebody can drop kick you out of it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. The doggies! Let's be the puppies! I'm gonna be a puppy. Boom! <laughs> Again, it looks like an, a, a, another move. This move is probably gonna depend on how fast it comes out. That move will, yeah, the cheesiness of that move will depend on how fast it actually comes out. And you'll just be able to bowl people over, which is kind of funny, but 
if somebody can just drop kick you, then it won't even matter. I, I won't be too worried about it. It's the move that knocks uh, out all of your items. That's gonna be rough, because people are just gonna steal your shit as soon as he gets knocked out. That's gonna be fucking rough. This gameplay preview footage on IGN's YouTube? Oh! Okay, yeah, 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 show me that. I'm gonna see some gameplay. Interesting. That's not- that's not blue. What is that? That's some- That's yellow and pink. So there's a new- yeah. That's a new cup right there, and it's got an eyes on it and a nose. Uh, that's a new drink. Looks like they got new drinks for people to 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 use too. Crazy. Or chanclas. <laughs> I can't believe they have fucking chanclas, man. That's so funny. Look at this. It's got the fucking chanclas. Oh my god, that's so funny. Ugh. <laughs> Just like your Spanish mom used to. November 15th. Okay, okay. The inaugural season of Rumbleverse may be coming to an end, but for the denizens of Grapple City, the party is just getting started. Season 2 is on the horizon with a planned release set for November 15th, and I've gotten an early look at what's in store for players. So if you're interested in getting a sneak peek at the brand new areas, items, and special moves that are sure to shake up the meta, well, you're in the right place, because this is an early look at Rumbleverse Season 2. First off, let's make something really clear right off the bat, because it's likely one of the first things you'll note from this b-roll, but trios and squads are coming to Rumbleverse, though not right out of the gate. In fact, I was told that there were several things shown in the Season 2 trailer that are planned for rollout over the course of Season 2, but won't be oh, there so immediately it's not, it's not, it's not going to be at the patch. start. That's fine. So let's I'm, trying to, I'm trying to see this map. This map looks crazy. Soft, let's make something really clear right off the bat because it's likely. Yeah, they still have the tower there, which is weird. Because this is a whole new map, but that tower is still there. One of the first things you'll note from this B-roll, but trios and squad. Interesting. So, oh my God, you're dropping in like it's Apex chat. Yeah, you're coming in like it's Apex. That are planned for. Yeah, look at that. You're right. It is a lot of water. There's a whole water park area down here that looks kind of crazy. So I'm guessing you can it's gonna be water but you can still move about here and then if you get knocked off you end up back down here outside of that uh oh my god so there's an actual dome maybe shallow yeah shallow water is fine this thing of course is the new extension of the map low kiki it's a tropical resort oh so it's an extension of the no wonder I saw the tower I'm like dude I still see the tower what the fuck I thought it was a whole new map no, it's an extension of the same map. Okay, interesting. Themed island. As for how it managed to make its way to Grapple City, as lead designer Adam Hart puts it, the people on the Loki Key Tourism Board wanted a piece of the big grapple, and so they tied their island to very strong tugboats, dragged it all the way to Grapple City, and tied it to the East Coast. There's a story behind that. To make its I don't way need to a Grapple story. City, as you can actually do that in real life. That's no, that's that's something that you actually do. I've I've actually seen that. A giant arena with multiple levels to do battle on. Popcorn, nacho bucket restores health. So you no longer have to rely on chicken, I guess. Now you can get a uh, a nacho bucket, which literally looks like popcorn, but it's just a bucket full of nachos and shit, and it restores your health. Now, that's not going to restore your health. It's just going to make you fart. You got to be careful with that shit. Like, damn, that's a, that's a lot of dairy right there. I'm still waiting for them to make the trains on the map move and insta-kill people. You want trains to, to kill people on the map? Are you crazy? Nacho bucket, nice representation. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's a chicken alternative. It's definitely a chicken alternative. Now, how much you get out of it, it might be... Well, I mean, it kind of shows right here. Of how much you're getting out of it i guess i have to go um to training and see how much the chicken actually gives you and then um compare it to this and see how much you actually get out of that from the roof to the rafters to the stands where you that's can find dope okay that's sick with multiple levels to do battle on from the roof to the look at this rafters. wow the dome is gonna be a hot ticket. The dome is gonna be a hot ticket. Like that's gonna be a crazy place to do fun. Look at the arena, bro. Look at the arena inside. That's so sick. This is what I was talking about. They should have one v ones. They should have one v ones that have people go into an arena, um, 
and uh, the, the 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 two players on each side have all the um, items that they want. They can choose all the items that they want. They have a certain amount of time to pick the right items that they want. And then once the timer goes down, then um, the arena opens up and the two players fight each other. And then the people around that arena um, can cheer everyone on. They can all be spectators. They should do a 1v1 uh, arena type thing. Like the fact that they haven't done that is crazy. The stands that should where you definitely find be a thing. Uh, that's funny, okay. Session stands, along with the brand new Machos Nachos vendors, more on those later, and of course to the actual floor of the arena itself, which features a ring. I actually noticed the Nachos, um, uh, the Nachos Vatos, Vatos Nachos, um, floors, uh, in the old map, but they didn't release anything, so now they actually give out something. So that's kind of cool. I actually know where to get some, uh, some Nachos if I'm in that Suspended area. Suspended over a pool of hardened lava. The Lava Dome is the most prolific landmark of Lokiki, but it's certainly not the only place people will be- What the heck? It's over some lava? Yo, the floor is lava? Oh no, meet me in Nuketown. Yeah, that's what it kind of feels like, right? Bro, there should be a Gulag. Why not? Put a Gulag there. Are there new moves? Yes, there are new moves. Complete with a tower full of three Musel Shake vendors, eight protein pod dispensers, high tier loot all around, all surrounded by a moat of insta death water. I'm going there first thing. <laughs> all surrounded by a moat of insta death water. We're going right to it. There's also a giant seahorn that can be blown in order to grant a 60 second damage buff, a hotel that offers 60 second damage buff. Interesting. I, the, the person who gets it should. Should be able to run a, uh, or should be glowing to all the other the players. That can be blown in order to grant a 60 second damage buff, a hotel that offers a ton of verticality, along with a pool area with a bunch of bouncy lounge chairs, and plenty of beaches that offer ample opportunities to this throw is, in. This is the shallow water I was talking about. This is exactly where it is. I knew it. It's shallow water, but if somebody throws you off, you're, you're, you're done. But it's not like insta death over there into more instant death water. Season 2 will also add a new technique to everyone's basic movement options, the ability to swing off poles. This can be done on both horizontal and vertical poles, and if anyone gets caught in your range while you're spinning on a pole, it will deal damage with power attack priority and can even splat an opponent against the wall. As for weapons and consumables, allow me to introduce the Starfish. The Starfish family of weapons doubles as both a traditional weapon and a great movement tool, as it basically allows you to turn into a Blanca Ball, with the strike attack going horizontal and the vicious attack sending you forward and upwards at an angle. So it can be used oh, as a way sick. to cross gaps that you normally wouldn't be able to easily cross, and you can also take it out when you're getting ready for a fight. You should be especially careful against the purple one, as it not only poisons, but it can also stagger, leading to situations like this. Oh, that's getting nerfed. And he threw her out. Oh, that's getting nerfed. And if you ever wanted to that's getting nerfed. your opponent, you can now consider packing some chakras, which have very low durability, low damage, great tracking when thrown, and a knockdown when using the vicious attack, but the true value in them is if you land a regular old blockable attack with them. Regular attacks will stagger, allowing you to either continue slapping them with a sandal to really drive home the humiliation, or you can follow up with something a little more substantial. Ah. Previously, chicken legs and whole chickens were the only way to restore health when it came to consumable items, but in Season 2, the aforementioned Machos Nachos are being added. They still restore the same amount of life as a whole chicken would, but the difference is that they can be eaten super quickly, but only restore 100 health per bite. Which I'm personally a big fan of because of how often I would find myself Wait, okay. Same amount of life as a whole chicken would, but the difference is that they can be eaten super quickly, but only restore 100 health per bite. Which Oh god, look at her face. Ah! They can only restore 100 health per item? Restore 100 health per bite. Oh, okay, okay, so you just keep chugging. I get it, I get it. Yeah, it heals over time. You Which just keep I'm you just personally keep a big fan of because I was shown two brand new special move families. The first, known as the Edge family of moves, seemingly named after Razor Ramon's actual finisher, the Razor's Edge, is a grab special that allows you to hoist an enemy over your head and Ugly, walk with them before bro. sliding them down into the ground. The higher the tier, the further you're able to walk. Ugly. Seems like a fantastic oh, move, no. especially when you've got a partner as your buddy is able to catch. 
Oh no, oh my god, you could just drag somebody off to the edge of the map now. If somebody grabs you, they'll just take you to the- oh. Oh no, that's gonna be ugly, bro. Somebody's gonna pick you up and just drag you to the end of the map. Ah, oh, god. Oh, that is gonna be so bad. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my, okay, so... Uh, I have Dolphin Dive in one, and then I have the um, uh, Jagged Edge in the other. So, I somebody swings at me. I le They leave themselves open. I do a triple punch, knock them down. The Dolphin Dive, that pushes them far. Then I jump in the air, uh, grab them with the Jagged Edge, and literally walk them to the end of the, the edge of the map and just chuck them off. Oof the bounce and follow up with their own attack. Then there is the rush family of moves, which are traversal moves first, as they allow you to just hold down the special button and dash in a direction. The dash is faster than a normal sprint and can bulldoze through anyone that tries to get in your way with power priority. Both these special moves require quite a bit of stamina in order to get the maximum utility out of them, which helps provide a little more incentive for people to think about putting some more points into their legs. And that's just a taste of what's in store for Rumbleverse Season 2. There's also, of course, a new battle pass, new cosmetics, and a bunch of new features planned for later down the road. Just a glance at the trailer shows upcoming limited time modes, this cool sonic screen move, a broom item, and some group emotes. We won't have to wait much longer either, as Loki Key and Season 2 will anchor itself next to Grapital City on November 15th. I'll see you in the lava dome. For more Rumbleverse, make sure to check out my review. And for everything else, keep it here on IG. <laughs> Just throw him out. Here, get out of here. And you get those. Oh, that's just bullying. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a stamina eater. The other one's going to be a stamina eater for sure. That's fine. Yeah, that one's going to be a stamina eater, which is fine through anyone that tries to get in your way with power priority. Both these special moves require quite a bit of stamina in order to get the maximum utility out of them. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So even, okay, so the rush move and the jagged edge take off a ton of, of, um, of, uh, stamina, which is, which makes sense. The funny thing though, is that somebody who, uh, drinks a bunch of yellows and uses the jagged edge a bunch of times uh, towards the final circle circle is going to dominate the shit out of the final circle like tenfold because they'll just they'll just drag you wherever they want and won't lose enough a, a, a too much stamina so they'll have to worry about it so that's actually pretty decent that's actually pretty decent for somebody who isn't looking to do damage because I'm always looking for yo check this out what do you think this is this is new chat do you see that that's a new um that's a new perk for for uh for fighting I didn't even see the symbol before. I just noticed that. That is a definite new perk for fighting. Interesting. I wonder what this one's going to be. Yeah. That's going to be crazy. That's actually kind of sick. All right. So they're, they're not playing no games, chat. They ain't playing no games. They're they're really they're really putting in work for some of this shit. Uh, I like it, though. I like it. Give me a balance patch with the new season as well. Um, I didn't, He didn't mention it. He actually didn't mention it, so... Uh, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like it. It's the Warzone 2 killer, yes. 